Most people learn that your DNA is what determines who you are, your hair color, your eye color, your height. However, there are other forces at work. My name is Mackenzie and today we're going to talk about epigenetics. Epigenetics is the study of the alteration of gene expression due to things besides changing the DNA code itself. Epigenetic tags are added or removed to genes that change the expression of that gene. This is a completely normal process that happens in every one of your cells. Epigenetic tags turn genes on and off in your cells that causes them to specialize or become a specific cell type, like a bone cell or a muscle cell. Your environment can affect the tags that are added to or removed from your genome. What you eat, what you drink, the medications you take, and even stress can have an impact on the expression of certain genes. When gene expression is altered, the production of the protein that the gene encodes for either increases or decreases. There are two main ways that your epigenome is modified, methylation and histone acetylation. In methylation, a methyl group is added to the nitrogenous base cytosine in DNA. This turns the gene off. If the methyl group is removed, the gene turns back on and protein production resumes. Histone acetylation involves the adjustment of how tightly DNA is wrapped around histones. Histones are proteins that DNA winds around to make itself more compact so that it fits inside the cell. Adding an acetyl group to a histone causes DNA to wrap itself less tightly around the histone, allowing it to be expressed more readily and easily than when it was wrapped tightly and made inaccessible. Methylation of DNA acts more like a switch, turning the gene on or off, while histone acetylation is more like a dial. The more tightly wound the DNA is around a histone, the less the gene will be able to be expressed. While epigenetic changes are normal and happen regularly, some changes can have negative effects. Some cancers and other diseases can be caused by wrongly placed epigenetic tags. A study was done using data collected from an isolated town in northern Sweden. This town had collected many years of data regarding crop yields and lineages. Researchers found that the grandsons of grandfathers who experienced famine in the years before puberty died earlier than those of grandfathers who had enough to eat at that age. The grandsons that died earlier usually died of diabetes. Granddaughters with grandmothers who experienced famine while in the womb or just after birth also died earlier than granddaughters whose grandmothers were born in years of plenty. Epigenetic tags were passed on since the grandparents experienced harsh environmental factors in crucial gamete development years. This study helped prove that epigenetic changes can be passed on and that our choices and environment can affect our offspring in future generations. While there is still much to be discovered regarding the epigenome, the study of epigenetics has greatly enhanced our understanding of gene expression and will continue to expand our knowledge of how the human body works.